be done. I love these little personal blenders. So quick and easy. Not very much stuck to the side and wasting at the end. Not much to clean at the end. Come on, this way. There you go. Good dog, dude. Hi. How are you? Here you go, slow mo. Slow mo. There you go, slow mo. Good girl. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, pet the donkey. Come here, donkey dude. Come say hi. Come say hi. And you gotta be nice. Here you go. He's a donkey. Yeah, you pet him like you pet him. Hi. Yeah, look at the ears. Pretty cool, huh? Can I pet the sheep? Yeah, sure. You gotta stop. Can't jump, okay? You don't want to spook them. Uh, this is my favorite, favorite, uh, best brand that I've probably ever worn. Thank you. Let's see if what it fits. These shoes? Oh, you know what? I was so lucky. My friend, he just got me these. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's so great. I'm so grateful. He, he, Do you bought. think these will fit you? No, I got these. These are good. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, and yeah, these okay. are these are brand new. And all I got them. I'm good. Bye. Look at this. It fits Bye. over. Thank you. Yeah. It's really pretty too. I like it. How are you doing, ma'am? How can okay. I help you? So, are you selling soap? Yeah, I got some soap uh, right here. Um, the sheep's soap is right here. To, to, to uh, on board. Oh, okay. So how yeah. much is this? I don't have set prices because I'm not a business. What would you suggest? How about whatever, that? whatever it's worth to you. Yeah. I, um, honestly, my friend makes those. Um, uh, uh, it's called Vericent soap, and he sells them at the the co-op in in Ashland. Okay. And, and all over the place, um, all over the Northwest. Um, but he uses my sheep's milk to make that soap. And, and he trades me, he makes soap out of, out of my sheep's milk and then, tra then trades me soap for more milk to make more, more soap out of. So it's like a, it's a really cool, um, uh, uh, mutually beneficial um, partnership that we have because before, before he met me, before we met each other, he was uh, buying his sheep milk from the coast frozen. Okay. And uh, and apparently there's a huge difference in the, the final product uh, if you use raw raw milk that's fresh as opposed to frozen milk. Um, uh, like he's a soap connoisseur. This guy is like oh, the, yeah. this guy I, is the most nerdy soap guy I've ever met. Like, <laughs> uh, like it's really fascinating to talk to him because he knows he knows. Like Ten dollars. Oh yeah, okay. that, that's that's so freaking helpful. Thank you. This is like uh, I, I think that like that he's probably sells those for like five dollars at the oh, the okay. store. Oh, so. Perfect. No, thank you so much. Yeah, I appreciate you. you. Yeah, you're awesome.
끝이 Yay! I got a new spork. I've been living without a, a fork or anything, just a spoon for like a year or so. I used to have a spork exactly like this, except it didn't have a polished head. And I used it for like five years. I think I found it at an abandoned camp underneath a bunch of stuff and it was, uh, it was already like bent up and kind of weak and I was using it for a back scratcher and I guess pressing into my back that much it, it just bent it back and forth and ended up snapping off the head about right there so oh yeah, I've been wanting one ever since and I put one on my Amazon wish list and thank you Ariel awesome I'm gonna scratch my back though oh it's so much better Oh, it's sharp. I gotta be careful. Oh, the edges of these teeth are so much newer and sharper. Oh, oh my God, I forgot how good this was. Oh my goodness, just having a nine inch long spoon. Just having a nine inch long spork. Oh, that's for you to get every spot on your back, even if you're not flexible like me. Oh man, I'm gonna have to he's down this is like I'm gonna do myself damage these are a little sharp but I got a metal file that another subscriber got me off my wish list months back so I'm getting the tools to take care of myself yeah every situation I get in I can have alternatives for working around them this is awesome dude spork I'm gonna actually be able to hold my food Still, while I use my knife to cut it, that's been, like, I was just trying to cut the lamb's heart the other night, and it was so ridiculous, because my knife was so dull, and I was trying to use a spoon at first, and I was like, this is ridiculous, I'll just use my fingers, even though they're dirty, and it still was slippery, like, this would have come in, this would have held it, held it still so much better go up to the top oh yeah i raise this for my own human consumption whatever you want to do with it is is your guys's choice cool. responsible res responsible choice um whatever you want it's a uh, 15 dollars a half gallon at the grange co-op for raw goat milk <laughs> thank you so much uh, i milk differently than anyone else and cleaner than anyone else i milk with the bottle held sideways completely sideways hi <laughs> beautiful baby I, I milk with the bottle sideways and it's a narrow neck bottle not not i don't milk into a bucket where yeah. things are floating in and stuff's falling off of there for for i'm milking into a basically a water bottle that i hold sideways and i'm milking it sideways so that nothing can fall in when that stuff is falling in there then uh, into the bucket and then they pour it into a strainer yeah it's getting those things out but they were soaking in the yeah. milk the whole time and it's warm milk that's yeah. like basically tea it's <laughs> dirt tea leftover oregon wild rice and the lamb's jerky Awesome. Amazing. Oh, did I cook anything? I'm so hungry. And I'm still halfway through sewing up these new pants. New pants. Okay. Bye -bye. Don't you know, don't you know? Don't you know, don't you know? Yes, donkey. Yes. Good sheep. Hey, it happened, Missy. Oh, missy, Missy, Missy. What the F? You did it, Mama. Missy, Missy. In the backside. Get it. 
You weirdo. And he's gonna get it. If you don't. What? What is wrong with this? I don't understand. You see us? Yeah. I give it to the ram. You need to give milk, huh? Just give him milk and get some more. Yeah. Get some more apples. Good job, yeah. We're uh, making a smoothie on the side of the road. Got my sheep's kefir here. I'm straining. Josh! How you doing, bro? Good to see you. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Yeah, she should be able to haul, it, to haul this back. You got both your kids? Hi, what's up, man? Yeah. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? All right. Hey, do, do you guys want uh, those? I still have those hats right there. It's made out of the, the, the wool that, from your, your guys' sheep. Are they itchy? No, remember remember the sheep that you had back yeah, in the day? Yeah, I remember. It's made from their wool. Yeah. yeah uh, it's, um, wear snowboard. Yeah, it's like super, uh, yeah, yeah. You can wear a super uh, snowboard with your own sheep's sheep wool. Um, here's some soap if you guys want to try I don't know if you, if you got a lady that cares about this stuff. Here, this is made with my sheep's Sweet. sheep's milk. Okay. Yeah, they're they're selling that. Uh, it's Vericent Soaps is the name of that company. They're selling that at the co-op. But yeah, I got these. I made these hats. I've been trying to give them to you guys for for a while. But uh, so they're like they're raw. Yeah. They're like uh, un unshapen. I call it play wool. You know play dough. Yeah. You know how like you can squish it into the shape immediately. Well. Um, you know, like uh, when people spin uh, pottery, yeah. on, and, and it's like a it's a slower, uh, like a slower uh, play doh yeah. effect. Wool is even slower. So basically, if you get this wet, see how like uh, because I had it, I had it smashed in in between here. This was the smallest size. I had it smashed in between there, and so it's kind of like flailed out. It's not like a a, a tight beanie around the edge. Mm -hmm. um, you can you can wet this, and you can actually do this and press in with it. And it will like if you just just while you're watch your while you're watching TV, just knead knead it kind of like uh, like bread, yeah. And uh, and and get it to go down, and uh, it will tight tighten up. Uh, basically, uh, you just gotta uh, do the same thing that you do with play doh or with pottery, except over and over again, and it slowly the fibers will uh, move together in the direction that that you're pushing them, uh, so that it fits better. Try that's that's really small though. Ah, yeah, actually, it's not. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, here, so this is the, the these are the backs that where I where I sew the uh, that. So I put oh, that. I put that yeah. yeah. So um, so you can um, you can if you wanted to have a bill on it, um, you could you could actually wet it and you could put it on your head wet and pull it outwards instead of pushing it inwards. So yeah, wet it down and uh, play with it, and you guys uh, should be able to and size for you. Nice. Yeah. Um, again, if it's uh, if they're too big or whatever, you can throw them in the dryer. Is another thing. Uh, uh, to do, throw it in a dryer and, and just dry it for like a minute at a time and, and take it out of the dryer and put it on your head. Do not, do, don't, yeah, don't, yeah. Leave don't leave it in for like 10 minutes or anything because like, it might shrink past the, the part and then, and then you'll be stretching it out trying to get it to fit on your head. Um, but yeah, you can, you can do a number of things to custom fit it until it fits perfectly. Thank God, we got some miters that I sent some chickweed. Look at that, so thick. Thick leaves, man. That's pretty interesting. How's it going? Are you open your mouth? I don't have any chai left, and I'll have, I mean, I have soap and I have a hat right there, and uh, I have milk in her bags. But uh, if you, yeah, yeah, and I have milk back at my friend's place in the freezer or in the fridge, and you can stop by in 20 minutes or whenever. All right, loving you guys. Have a good day. Bye. Good night.